got my darling, feeling you the hardest. Now my baby, I've been missing you the longest. Find a new one to give your heart to. The way I acted, I don't blame you. But you always on my mind. Think about you all the time. And I'm wishing you were mine. Reminiscing on the time when I had your love. When I had your love. You'll forever be in my heart. You always have my heart. Your heart is now moved on. Got me sitting here, I'm singing sad songs. I'ma love you forever, baby. I forget you never. January to December, always remember. If you your... find someone that can love you right, I won't stand in your way. I won't even fight. I won't forget. I always remember you. You. Siti Nur Hadiza, welcome. Welcome. Seat. And of course, uh, Datu Siti is accompanied by our other guests. Yes, uh, from What's Up Entertainment, we have Mr. Ron E. Jones as well as Brian B. from What's Up Entertainment, who's going to tell us about uh, Datu Siti Nur Hadiza's breakthrough uh, in the uh, English market with her very first English album. Let's get right to it. First of all, mm -hmm. Datuk Siti, uh, let's begin the discussion here. You are, of course, an icon. Everybody knows you. You have your yep. own makeup line. <laughs> There's nothing that you cannot do, it seems. And now yep. it's your very first English album. So how does it feel? Um, Alhamdulillah, and it was a very great experience. Mm. Uh, uh, this album really um, helped me to be more confident in English. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, Brian B, Ronnie Jones, and of course uh, Chris. Chris, yeah, right. helped me a lot uh, during the recording, okay. and I'm so happy because my dream come true. Right. Yeah, to have one English album. Right. Okay. Right. And that song was a very catchy song. Can you tell us about the music in this album? Who wrote it? Who yeah. produced yeah, Brian. it? Mm -hmm. Yes, Brian, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> yeah, well, um, we we wanted a um, kind of like a um, a ballad which you can dance to, mm. uh, like a really good pop feel song. And um, when we were creating the song, you know, um, it had that it had that groove, and we thought, you know, Sean, Sean Kingston would be great for it. So um, we had our contacts in the states and kind of um, you know liaised that um, feature, so it was good. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So you produced the whole album. Um, yeah. How long did it take? You know, the whole of uh, process of song selection and recording and basically producing the whole album. It was a, um, a six, six months month. process. Six mm. months. Yeah. Six months for the whole uh, complete album. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the uh, vocal recording. It's about two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Weeks, wow. Yeah, yeah two, two, weeks. two weeks in total. What was the experience like for you, Dato City? Was there any challenges this time around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do like you got because uh, <laughs> because you know um, my fans, um, dah biasa kan um, myself dengan um, Malay album. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. There's no problem for me to record mm. Bahasa Malaysia punya mm -hmm. album, but mm. in English, um, yeah, not really um, difficult because. Um, by mm -hmm. listening the melody and mm -hmm. lyrics, because mm -hmm. I, I I got the yeah. lyrics and melody uh, one week early, mm -hmm. oh. yeah. so uh, I have much time to I can memorize yeah. the the lyrics, uh, the melody, melody lyrics. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, as what I told you just now, mm. it's more to my confidence. Mm. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And you do yeah. seem very confident. And this is the music video we're seeing right now for Falling in Love. Yeah. Tell us about the music video then. Okay, this this is really uh, um, my favorite one of my favorite music video because mm -hmm. uh, my idea is to to make my fans mm -hmm. together in my music video. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, and then we choose the flash mob concept. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. you're dancing. Then, uh, in front of a pavilion, yeah. of all places, mm -hmm. <laughs> where everyone was actually watching. Very <laughs> Jennifer Lopez-ish. Yes. Uh, and also, uh, and also, also Katy Perry for fireworks. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Ron, then, you uh, also act as a songwriter for this album, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, I, I was um, I was blessed to be able to come in and write a song for City. Um, what was the process of working with Dato City like? <laughs> um, was... Actually, during the recording, um, I've never seen Ronnie John. Uh, I don't know who this man is. <laughs> uh, only during the press, uh, what? Launching album. The launching. Oh, yeah. okay. I right. met Ronnie John. Oh, okay. But, so, um, he's a good um, songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So Very how talented. did you uh, sort of tailor the songs for Dato City? Did you receive any input beforehand? Um, I. I suppose we we sat down. You know, Brian Brian approached us to write some songs. Myself and my songwriting partner Tom Diesel um, mm -hmm. to write a song for City. Uh, I suppose the brief was something very uplifting yep. that um, that females could get behind. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. sort of like a like a big Celine Dion female mm -hmm. anthem. It was City's concept, the song. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how we started it off. Um, we were at a hair house. Mm -hmm. Working out the chords and working out the melody and yeah. stuff, right. and mm -hmm. she wanted a song that will empower women oh. all around mm. the world and stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. So I brought that concept across to Ronnie, and then we started putting together, and he came out with the lyrics and stand up, stand yeah. up yeah. women. Stand up. <laughs> uh, one of the yep. uh, favorite songs. Mm. What are yes. your favorite songs from this album? Wonderful, yes. right? You? So yeah, um, uh, well, actually, I want to ask Brian, uh, did you? Do uh, any particular like a, like a research or study, mm. uh, you know, in with uh, cities, um, not to cities, uh, previous albums, yes. so that you know it's it's for sort the of, direction of this yeah, album. Yeah, for the mm. direction of this album, so that it's it's appealing to both locals as well as uh, hopefully international. Definitely, definitely. Well, that was the balancing act that we had to mm. do, mm. was also make it relevant in the modern market, mm -hmm. but not also lose who she is as mm -hmm. an artist. So yeah, we did some research before we came over when we were still back in Australia. Mm -hmm. And when we came over, we sat down actually at um, at her house, mm -hmm. and we went through it. She, you know, picked out her favorite pop songs that were current, and um, yes, yeah, so it was a it wasn't like a rushed one where we had all the concepts and ideas already. Mm -hmm. We sat down, we sit you through yeah. every single process, every single song we'd bring to her, and she'd be like, yeah. I like this or I don't, you know, okay. mm -hmm. get me one like this, so. Uh, so a few of your favorite songs were incorporated for the sound for this one. So you being an idol to so many people in Malaysia right now, especially young girls, who are your idols, especially in terms of international artists? International artists, of course, Celine Dion. Uh-huh, yep. okay. Uh, Celine Dion, um, uh, Whitney Houston. Mm -hmm. Whitney Houston. Yeah, and, and uh, Beyonce. Ah, oh, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> Does uh, did Beyonce's songs have any influence on the direction of your music? Stand up, I think. <laughs> Stand up has yeah. a little bit of Beyonce. Yes, yeah. I do agree. And uh, 
What about the uh, whole process of uh, it's working on the English album? Yep. This experience, are you going to mm. take it uh, further? Will there be more English albums from CP? Yeah, uh, I really hope that this is not the last, uh, the first and the last album. Mm. Mm. Okay, um, and actually, the, uh, this album, um, we tried to go international, yes. but yeah. I have to uh, do step by step. Yep. Mm. Yeah, now um, I, I'm lucky because my fans. Uh, like this album, yeah. and I have good re uh, good response mm -hmm. about this album, mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully next year there's uh, one more English album. Mm -hmm. right. So yes. mm. I really need um, a good good uh, comments yes. from yes. the yeah. audience. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and and of course, uh, how did WhatsApp Entertainment come into the picture in producing this whole album? Mm, uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, um, Adib Khalid, um, mm -hmm. that's a city Steph's son, yep. mm -hmm. he owns the company and um, he approached us mm -hmm. um, to, um, you know, w w what do you guys think about writing um, songs for, um, for City? Mm -hmm. So we came in, at the, f the first meeting was more like a just getting to know each other, whether we were going to work on the album or not. Mm -hmm. And um, so we took it one song at a time, and then it, mm -hmm. you know, just evolved into an album, basically. Okay. Yeah. Now, Ron, yeah. Uh, you didn't meet that City initially. Yep. Only after that did yeah. you meet her. So yes. now that you have a better view of her and her music and the way she sings, yeah. are there any more plans to work together in the future? Yeah, oh, with wow. other Malaysian artists, perhaps. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, other Malaysian artists, perhaps. Um, well, definitely, I would love to um, love to work with City again. Yeah. Um, ex you know, possibly do a duet. I'm just yeah, just yeah. throwing it out there. Oh. Um, on the air, on air, on air. No, but I would I would definitely love to write some like more more tracks in the vein of um, what we did with Stand Up. I All think right. it would be an unbelievable experience, especially um, having the chance to be at her launch and yeah. to see her sing live and to see her perform um, Stand Up was was great. Mm. All right. Well, now, that's the City. Finally, before you yeah. let you go. You uh, have a makeup line, you have albums, you have awards under your belt. What's next? Mm -hmm. What's next? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything yeah. that you'd like to venture in? Yeah, maybe one. Um, I really love to do, my, uh, do a big concert, mm -hmm. uh, traditional concert. Ah. Uh, yeah, because for me, um, traditional music, our Malaysian music, mm -hmm. Uh, it's a really happening with the uh, instruments and mm -hmm. the tarian mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. So, so far, city da pernah perform yep. untuk acara kebudayaan. That's right. Mm. So, yep. yes. hopefully, for my next concert, it's going to be a traditional, full traditional concert, mm -hmm. and uh, of course. English album, um, yes. one con uh, English uh, English album. Please. Mm. Uh, yes, concert untuk satu uh, lagu-lagu semua bahasa Inggris. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, guys, uh, do get a copy from the uh, your local music store, City Knowledge, all your love, and of course you can download it from uh, citydigital.com. And uh, thank you very much, Datuk City, and thank our guests. Thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you, Ron. Thanks for having us. Okay, uh, it's been wonderful uh, being with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching Hello On To this right. Wednesday. Hello On To will be back again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So don't forget to watch same it. Same place. Uh, I'm Azaria Tagaya. And I'm Zahmed signing off. And we wish you a pleasant day ahead. Take care, everyone. Once in a lifetime An angel sweeps you off your feet And everything I'm about Disappears before my eyes